Well, after thinking about it all winter, we're finally ready to install the heating system or the heat on my daughter's cargo trailer. She's got that six by 10 that we were working on last year. And now it's time to warm it up. There's some problems associated with it. We've been discussing whether she should go with diesel heat or with a new way stove heater like what we have in this trailer, our own. Um, there's problems either way. She's decided to install the new way after going over uh, pluses and minuses, but there's some problems with it, namely with installing the propane bottle. And this might affect you also on your trailer or your build. So come on along and uh, take a look at what we're dealing with here. We'll get it figured out. I'm riding my bike over this morning. The first thing I need to do is figure out how to secure my favorite coffee cup. Ah, problems. Here he comes. I brought my tape measure. <laughs> yep, we need to measure some things here. Well, my coffee made it okay. That's a plus. Okay, well, um, you do have room for a 20 pound bottle on the front. Okay. It will fit. And they make single bottle mounts now that they didn't used to five years ago you couldn't get a single bottle mount mm -hmm. but now you can get a single bottle mount uh okay. and it shouldn't be any problem is that the size like the standard with say a barbecue is that the 20? yeah okay perfect. It's 20 pound okay uh i looked at 10 pound bottles this morning and um they're really expensive they're oh. like 110 dollars a piece because of the convenience of it being smaller yeah and whereas you can get a 20 pound bottle for less than half of that so interesting Okay. So I think you're going to do okay with a 20. Okay. And we'll take a look at, um, it's going to have to screw into here. So we need to go inside and see what's behind here. Okay. Electrical's behind there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. but okay. But it's just a wire. So it'll move off to one Correct. side or the other. Okay. Correct. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of room here for a 20 pound bottle. All right. You could even put a, a pair of them up here just like mine, which is really you know, nice to have. And we don't cook yet inside. We just take that little stove out or we can even do it inside on a counter, but we take that, we usually just cook outside. So. You can buy an induction cooler and run it off your um, Eco River. Really? Uh, yeah, pro there, you know. Huh. And those are really handy, you just plug it in and <laughs> hmm. But yeah. Um, That's more to think about. <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> Well, another thing we do is for cooking, we use a small propane stove and we got a little butane one we use inside, but right. outside we always use our propane one. And I, re I refill those one pound bottles off of these 20 pound bottles oh, on the front. Oh, gotcha. So I'll take like four or five one pound bottles along mm -hmm. with us. And when I'm on my last one, I'll just take one of these off and turn it upside down and refill those one pound bottles. Well, that's handy if you know how to do that. It's real easy. Yeah, there's about a you know, a million videos on YouTube about how to refill those one pound bottles. Well, cool. and I've been doing it for years, so yeah. it, it's, a, it's okay. Yeah, let's take a closer look. Okay. Well, this is the new way stove installation on my trailer. Those of you that follow this channel know all about this. I've done, I've featured it in other videos. But if you've never seen uh, seen it before, this is it. Uh, it's nice. It just we can run it all night. It's really easy to light. You just light it with a um, you know with a barbecue lighter just in here. You turn the knob, push the button down, and light it. And then let the button up. This little twelve thousand BTU stove will roast you out of this six by ten cargo trailer. We can never run it on high ever. Um, all we do is just put it on medium heat until it warms the trailer up and then we turn it down to low. On low or even medium, we can run it all night and it doesn't require any maintenance or anything like that. It just goes. Of course, ventilation, you know, it ventilates two ways. It ventilates, it draws air in through this three inch vent up here. So you're never going to suffocate because that's always open. And then we like to um, keep a window cracked over here just a little bit, an inch or so and it's always been just fine like that. Anyhow, this is what we're getting ready to install 
in Nikki's trailer. Okay. Yeah, and that piece was hard to get out or in. Okay, the fits. piece on the front? Yeah, it just fits so perfectly. I should go get my coffee cup. I brought my coffee with me. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the inside of uh, Nikki's trailer. So far, we've got a pipe berth across the back, uh, which we did a video on. And we also did a video on this um, this sofa bed that pulls out. She's got to get the, the cushions not done yet. It's got to get a slip cover made for it. But that's just a fitted bed sheet on there now. But the trailer is fully insulated, including the doors and the back door and the floor. So it's time to put some heat in here. We're looking up into the Vinos now, and it's got this trim piece here. And I know that there's wiring running down behind that, but uh, we could be careful with that. Nikki, do you remember what's behind there? Is it a solid piece or is it two pieces of aluminum uh, running vertically up and down? I think it's two pieces because I, if I can remember correctly, I think it's two. And then it, all the wiring is for is the, for this um, light. Okay. So it wasn't a lot of wiring and I feel like it was two pieces. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, because uh, that would give us, we could fasten into each one, you know, and get okay. a lot of support. So that, and that propane bottle will be sitting down on top of the frame. So it's not going to be carrying any weight. Right. So um, what if it's only one piece and it's smack in the middle? That would be all right too. Okay. All right. So then the, that is only going to, all that's going to do is, uh, um, secure the bottle side to side because it's going to be sitting down on top gotcha. of the frame. So okay. it'll be all right. Okay. Well, what about where are you going to put this stove? Um, yeah. This is just, that's temporary. That was temporary just for the here. summer, last summer, just so we had something in here. Um, I'm building a t table for here. I have, you know, that'll fold, it'll fold down and pull up right here. Uh, so this type of a cabinet could move to here. The stove could be there and my refrigerator could be there on the floor. I want to make a suggestion. Yes. I'm suggesting you put the stove over on this side. Really? Of the trailer, okay. And the reason is um, run the vent. <gasps> through that hole. Through that hole where that uh, forward vent used to be. Yeah. What we did on Nikki's trailer to pressurize it to keep the dust out is we installed the vent on the Vinos. So it catches plenty of wind. And uh, if you if you pressurize the inside of your trailer, you won't get dust on the inside. So I like that idea, Dad. That's a great idea. So we'd have the stove aesthetically. Would it sit kind of in that corner, pointing this way? It could. And then the what's the whole what's the hose situation look like? The gas line look like? Would it just be on the outside of this wall? I don't care. I don't want to take that wall down. No, it goes from the propane bottle on the front. The hose goes underneath the trailer and comes oh, up through the floor. Oh, sweet. So you wouldn't see any you hose. You wouldn't even see it. Okay, no. great. I like this idea. And then the, the exhaust or whatever, the yeah. chimney goes out there. Yeah, and it would just be a little mushroom vent on the outside. So it's not going to be any kind of a chimney, just a little clamshell vent outside okay. there. Okay. And just sloped it facing aft a little bit so it doesn't get any rain when you're driving down the highway. Okay, because then I'd still have my room for whatever I want to do here. Right. With our refrigerator. See, we store our EcoFlow down there. Well, I like that idea because if the stove is there, it leaves this room free. Because I like to keep our EcoFlow here because this is just where it comes out. So I like to keep power here, which runs the fridge. Right. So the fridge can kind of hang out and our fridge isn't permanent. Obviously we don't, some people put it in those little roll away cabinets where it slides into a, we don't, we just kind of leave it so I can put it here. Nikki has a uh, 12 volt compressor refrigerator. Yeah. And then she's got the EcoFlow for power. And so, you know, it, there's a uh, 200 Watts of solar on the roof and it just goes, comes right down and goes right into the EcoFlow. So works real good that way. And this cabinet, it's just a cheapo whatever, but it's actually pretty nice. It didn't. Yeah. We took this. I don't know how many miles out of town we were. Seventy miles out of town, and it didn't budge. You guys were worried it was going to slide around on the drive, and I got came in here to check when we got there. It was still right there. Yeah. And it's not secured. I probably should, but it's not secured well, yet. Well, we can do that. It's yeah. actually a nice cabinet, and with those yeah. pull-out bins, that works real good. Yeah. 
<laughs> there you go. Put your junk away. You do realize you're on camera, I'm on don't camera. You? Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh, there's my work gloves. I've been looking for those. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, this is good. I like this plan. Stove in the corner. All right. Let's get the stove and the pipe and the and the hose and everything ordered and all you can uh, you can buy the propane tank locally, but you're going to need to order the mount. Okay. For it, so. Okay. How many feet of hose was my original question? Well, we'll go measure. Okay. 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 Let's do that. All right. So we'll just guesstimate on the hose length because the new way stove comes with a five foot hose, but you can order it longer, right? Right. Well, there's 24 inches right there, so okay. you're definitely going to need more. Okay. 24. Plus, let's see, it's going around the corner back there. 24 plus another 36. That's yep. five feet right there. Okay. And you're going to need another foot over here. So that's six feet. Plus, you need to come up to the stove. Are you going to have the stove sitting on the floor? Or is it going to be up on a cabinet? Um, probably just on the floor. Yeah, you can just replace the hose if you go taller, you know. So what did uh, I say? Six feet? Yeah. You know what? Should I just order? An eight foot hose. Okay, eight feet. Yeah, because we can always do a coil underneath the trailer okay. attached to the bottom That's of the That's what floor, I was wondering. If it'll we be up, extra. tucked up underneath the frame, you okay. know, and everything. You'd be all right. Okay. All right, cool then. Let's get it ordered and we'll get this thing installed. Yay! <laughs> well, Nikki's online ordering the stove and thanks for coming along on this video and the it's going to be a couple of weeks before we get to this, but we'll be sure and show you the installation when that happens. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. See you around.